Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by Phantom Glass. Visit store.phantom.glass for the best darn screen protectors out there, as well as HyperX. We're here in the MSI suite with what for me personally is the most exciting thing I've seen at the show yet, which isn't really saying much. This is only the second suite we've been to, but this is something that I'm pretty stoked on anyway. This is the GS30 Shadow 001. It's a gaming notebook that has a very thin and light design. So they're using what appears to be the same materials as their GS series. So like a, like a blasted finished magnesium kind of shell. It's got an extremely thin display. Two Two USB 3 ports, Intel Gigabit LAN, HDMI out, uh, an SD card reader, audio ports, an Intel Core i7-4870HQ quad-core processor, and Iris Pro graphics. Yeah, that's right. Gaming laptop, $2,000. Iris Pro graphics. No, no, hold on. It gets, it gets better than that. So what's going on over here is we're running exter an external display, not off of the notebook itself, but off of this included box underneath it. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and shut it down because right now the way it works is in order to switch between standalone notebook mode and notebook with like beastly graphics mode, you do have to shut down the machine because here at the back, we can go ahead and, is it shut down? Unlock it, this like mechanism, it, it's like lock and load your notebook, right? Here at the back is a PCI Express 16X Gen 3 interface. So that is a full speed link. Any high-end GPU you could possibly want to want, you can run off of that. And you don't just, you don't just stick it in the slot at the, at the back of the notebook. No, no, that's, that's not how it works. It's much more elegant than that. This box down here contains a speaker, just in case you don't have speakers for whatever reason or something like that. It's got some more I.O. for the notebook. So four more USB ports, killer LAN, two more audio ports, a power button as well as a cooling fan and then inside this is awesome I'm just gonna open it up here try not to break it this time whoops okay yep and then inside we've got a PCI Express 16x slot a 450 watt power supply and then we can see now that that cooling fan is gonna allow us to run well MSI says any of their graphics cards and any reference card up to a GTX Titan Black or R9 290X pretty much anything you could want to put in it compared to Alienware's solution this is still proprietary so it's not the you know most elegant thing in the world we're a little ways away from just plugging in a thumb Thunderbolt cable and hot swapping graphics cards, but compared to Alienware solution, it has four times the bandwidth because the Alienware one runs at PCIe 4X. So this, and, and while that's not normally going to be a bottleneck anyway, it's something that gives you, well, in my mind, a little bit more room for the future because CPUs don't affect gaming performance the same way that GPUs do, and this could last you through several GPU upgrades, and who knows what the bandwidth requirements will look like a couple years from now. So this this is what's got my attention because for me, carrying around a bulky gaming notebook like this 18 inch monstrosity over here that we're also going to have a video of by the way, I can't even lift it with one hand, it's so heavy. Carrying around something like that is not necessarily an option, but being able to carry something like this around with me most of the time and then grab my dock that actually uh, maybe it does weigh more than that notebook, but not by much. Being able to just grab an extra dock when I really need the gaming horsepower is an unbelievable use case scenario that I think is fantastic. So guys, thank you for checking out our video of the GS30 Shadow-001. Don't miss any of our CES coverage. Our trip to the show here is brought to you by, oh yeah, these guys. See, they're right on the left, or on the microphone. Phantom Glass, visit store.phantom.glass right now in order to get the best dang screen protector in our mind. It's Gorilla Glass. So it's as clear and as satisfying to touch as the glass that's already on your phone if you have a high-end smartphone. And it has a nano coating on the back, so it goes on completely bubble-free. Also, check out the HyperX YouTube channel. They also sent us here to the show. They've got some great gaming content over there. You can find links to both of those places in the video description. Also, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our CES 2015 content.